Good morning students from your flamingo books we are doing chapter indigo yesterday we read that how gandhi was of the view that he might get arrested and uh, as he refused to obey the official orders to quit champaran so he wanted to know from the lawyers what course of action they would follow when he is arrested the lawyers the lawyers also agreed that they would go for court arrest for the cause of the shirk robbers gandhi ji was very pleased and he expressed his satisfaction with the words the battle of champaran is won let's continue with the line by line explanation of the chapter gandhi and the lawyers now proceeded to conduct a far flung inquiry into the grievances of the farmers depositions by about 10000 peasants were written down and notes made on other evidence documents were collected the whole area throbbed with the activity of the investigators and the vehement protest of the landlords now when uh, the lieutenant governor of the province decided that uh, to drop the case against gandhi now gandhi and the lawyers did what they proceeded they started they started into in depth inquiry in depth inquiry into what in depth inquiry into the grievances the problems that the farmers are facing the injustice that has been done to the share croppers of champaran of muzaffarpur of uh, other villages so they started with the in depth inquiry of those um, injustice that is done by the landlord system depositions were about uh, by about 10000 pheasants were written down so uh, 10000 pheasants have given a written statement regarding their things regarding their problems that they are facing and notes made on other evidence and other evidence other proofs were also collected and the notes were prepared on the same documents were collected so documents collected from various people from the farmers from other sources um, organizations so many many things started many activities started the whole area throbbed with the activity of the investigators so the whole area was uh, all together um, working for the fight of injustice done to the share croppers and whether it is lawyers or whether it is farmers all have together joined hands in this mission to get justice to the farmers so the whole activity of the investigators were going on and the area was throbbing with this uh, uh the 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 energy of this uh, the people coming together and fighting and vehement protest of the landlords but at the same time there was a strong pro- uh, protest from the uh, from the landlords in june gandhi was summoned to sir edward gate the lieutenant governor so it was in the month of june sir edward gate who was the lieutenant governor at that time he called on gandhi before he went he met leading associates and again laid detailed plans for civil disobedience if he should not return so gandhi ji when he was called by lieutenant sir edward gate lieutenant governor so he met the leading associates that is his colleagues his supporters we know rajendra prasad bridge kishore um, bridge kishore babu molana mazarullah all the lawyers so he met them and he made plans that suppose he is arrested so in that case what plans they have to follow and again these plans were what again a second round of disobedience a civil disobedience were plans were made and first was what first was that uh, all the lawyers said that if gadi is arrested then everyone would go for a court arrest so a detailed plan was made that in his absence what the others are to do gandhi had four protected interviews with the lieutenant governor who as a result appointed an official commission of inquiry into the indigo share cropper situation 
Now, Gandhi had very lengthy interviews, or lengthy discussions with Lieutenant Governor regarding the injustice done to the sharecroppers, Indigo sharecroppers, and the outcome of that was what an official commission of inquiry was made. It was established. The commission consisted of landlords, government officials, and Gandhi as the sole representatives of the peasants. So this commission included members of landlords, government official, and the only spokesperson for the peasants was Gandhi. Gandhi remained in Champaran for an initial uninterrupted period of seven months, and then again for several shorter visits. Now Gandhi came to Champaran and in the beginning, in the initial stages, in the beginning when he came uh, to Champaran, he stayed in Champaran for a continuous period of seven months and then uh, there were very several short visits to the village, to the Champaran. The visit undertaken casually on the entreaty of an unlettered pheasant in the expectation that it would last a few days occupied almost a year of Gandhi's life. Now we have been told that this visit was taken by Gandhi and this visit was informal visit. It was without commitment. Uh, uh, Rajkumar Shukla, a pheasant comes and he asked come to Champaran and Gandhi uh, went to Champaran. This was not any commitment to uh, people or to the farmers. But then uh, casually he went to um, to Champaran on the entreaty that is a humble request of an unlettered pheasant that is Rajkumar Shukla, an illiterate person, a literate uh, farmer, in the expectation that it would last a few days and it was presumed that this visit of Gandhi to Champaran would be just few days, occupied almost a year of Gandhi's life. But but the result was what it did not, uh, it uh, the, the visit uh, occupied a one year or almost uh, a year of Gandhi's life. The official inquiry assembled a crashing mountain of evidence against the big planters and when they saw this they agreed in principle to make refunds to the pheasants but how much must we pay? They asked Gandhi. Now when this official inquiry uh, uh, the official commission of inquiry was made uh, to see to the grievances of the indigo sharecroppers. They all had um, gathered a huge or a large amount of evidence, but that evidence was against the landlords, against the planters. Now the planters uh, had no choice. They agreed that, okay, we are going to refund the money to the pheasants. So they asked Gandhi how much refund, how much we should pay to the farmers, to the pheasants. They thought he would demand repayment in full of the money which they had illegally and deceitfully extorted from the sharecroppers. Now landlords and planters were of the view that Gandhi would say that I, Gandhi would say that a full repayment should be done to the sharecroppers, to the farmers, the money that the planters have illegally and dishonestly have taken from the sharecroppers. How illegally and dishonestly, if you remember, they were the British landlords said what that if you want to uh, release if we want to be released from the 15% arrangement of the indigo sharecropping, you should give us compensation. So this was illegally and deceitfully they had exhorted a huge amount of money from them. So the planters thought that Gandhi would say that you have to pay in full. He asked only 50% but Gandhi said we want 50% refund from the landlords. There he seemed adamant, writes Reverend J. Z. Hodge, a British missionary in Champaran who observed the entire episode at close range. Now, Reverend J. Z. Hodge was a British missionary and he had seen the entire episode. Entire episode, that is the fight against the injustice of the uh, done to the indigo sharecropping because of the landlord system. This he had seen uh, very minutely, very detailed. He knows about the things. He said that uh, that uh, when Gandhi said 50%, he was very firm. He was rigid. Rigid that yes, 50% refund should be done to the uh, farmers. Thinking probably that he would not give way, the representatives of the uh, planters offered to refund to the extent of 25%. 
now these planters these uh, landlords they thought that gandhi would not give way that is gandhi would not agree the representatives of the planters offered to refund to the extent of 25 the planters said we would not pay 50% we'll pay 25% and they were very sure we will offer 25% and gandhi would disagree and things will linger on and there would never be a solution to the problem solution to the uh the the things there would always be a deadlock so they offer 25% and to his amazement his here stands for j z hodge amazement mr gandhi took him at his word thus breaking the deadlock and uh, j z hodge who was uh, who thought that gandhi was adamant at 50% he was amazed he was surprised that gandhi uh accepted took him at his word that is gandhi took the words of this um, planters accepted it thus breaking the deadlock so gandhi accepted okay you are ready to offer 25% i accept one and the deadlock was the disagreement came to an end deadlock means a situation in which no progress can be made so gandhi agreed okay 25% you uh, repay 25% this settlement was adopted unanimously by the commission so the commission of inquiry they uh, unanimously accepted that 25% refund would be done to the indigo shik croppers by the planters by the british landlords gandhi explained that the amount of the refund was less important than the fact that the landlords had been obliged to surrender part of the money and with it part of their prestige so gandhi was question that you ask a repayment of 50% then why did you agree with 25 gandhi said that the amount is not that important amount was not that uh, important the thing important was that the landlords have to be forced to agree to surrender a certain amount of money and with it they had to uh, surrender their honor their esteem their prestige and that was important these landlords who were above law these landlords who have crushed the pheasants they have to give their prestige was more important rather than the amount of the money therefore as far as the pheasants were concerned the planters had behaved as lords above the law and these uh, planters had done what they always believed that law is in their pocket but now the planters had to abide by the law now the pheasants had uh, saw that he had rights and defenders he learned courage now the pheasants learned what that even they have the rights rights when it comes to law and defenders they have protectors and uh, they have support and he learned courage and he learned to be courageous even justified gandhi's position within a few years the british planters abandoned their estates which reverted to the pheasants indigo share cropping disappeared so events uh, proved later events proved correct and it justified gandhi's opinion also that gandhi was correct within a few years the british planters abandoned their estates and uh, uh, with uh, with a few years the british planters they uh, gave up their estates their property and uh, their property means the land holdings and which returned to the pheasants indigo share cropping disappeared and indigo share cropping came to an end